G'day, it's Robbie Ragon. Well, time for another Sterling Engine review, and this one is from Banggood, and it's a bit different to what you would normally expect to get f from the internet. Um, most of the Sterling Engine models that are sold are what they call the Gamma design, and they have two separate cylinders, one has the displacer, one has the power piston and there's a cross gallery links them and that's basically the guts of it. The one I'm going to look at today is different, it's what they call a beta, B-E-T-A, as against G-A-double-M-A, -A. so it's a beta. And the beta uses one cylinder only and the power piston and the displacers share that one cylinder. Quite a tricky little engine and a more complicated design, but very, very interesting. So, yeah, I saw that Banggood had this on their uh, site and I thought, wow, I've never had a beta engine and I'd like a beta engine, so that's what should be in the box. So here's some screen grabs of what we expect to find when we open it up. Okay, let's see what we've got. Well, we've got a box in a box. Very well packed, lots of padding. Once again, Banggood always pack their stuff well. And uh, this should, oh, should reveal it, which it does. Which it does. Look at that cutie. So this is called an SH021 coaxial swing arm sterling engine. Coaxial swing arm. It doesn't say anywhere in the description that it's actually a beta, but it is definitely a beta. And yeah, we'll have a closer look at it and you can see the difference. You can see the two rods going into the cylinder. One is the, uh, the displacer and the other one is the power piston. So that would be displacer, that one would be power piston. And then you have a rocker assembly here which basically controls the uh, the action of both of the two, two pistons basically and they're on cross shafts and the rocker arm basically links up onto the, the crankshaft or the common shaft I suppose you could say. It's a very very unusual setup compared to a normal um, gamma engine. So yeah, I'm really interested to see how this will go. It's pretty impressive. So you can see how it's how it's going, how it's working. Certainly a pretty cool looking little motor, isn't it? Little engine. It's brilliant, isn't it? Really done nicely. Beautifully made. I really, really like this. This is awesome. Now we have a little metho pot here that comes in from the bottom. So that slides under. goes in there like that and then you, then you light it and she's good to go. So 
So I suppose we'd better see how well it goes. Warming up a little bit. Hey, look at that go. It's away. Wow, it's going like crazy. Very smooth. It's one of the smoothest running and quietest little sterlings I've seen. It's really powerful. There's a bit of shaft sticking out the fly wheel I can just put my finger on. It really goes, doesn't it? I mean, considering it's got virtually no flame, it really, really motors. One thing I really like about this little engine is it's amazing on fuel. I mean, I ran it for quite a while and the metho's hardly gone down. So it just literally runs on the smell of an oily rag. And, yeah. We'll fire it up again. There she's away. This is a little beauty, it really is nice. Now I think you, you could probably shorten that wick a bit, get it down a little bit lower, and it would run slower. But wow, you certainly can't complain about ease of it running and the length of time it runs is just amazing. One final thing is that a lot of this movement runs in little ball races. These cross shafts, they all run in ball races. The, uh, the main drive shaft runs in ball races and you know, it's certainly well engineered and it should be long lasting. So, yeah, very, very well put together. Okay, well, that's about it for the review. Now, if you want one of these, the uh, link is in the video description. There's also a discount code there. Get a few bucks off. And I think it's a top little unit. Very, very nice. What more can I say? All right, that's it for me. Hope you enjoyed the video. We'll see you next time. Cheers.